everybody and welcome back to another episode on the Universal SMP! In the last episode I told you guys we were going to get started on our shop this episode and that is exactly what I have done. So I'm going to go ahead right off the bat and insert some clips of me working on the shop in right here and then I'll be back with you guys to show you the final result. So I didn't include all of the clips just because it was a couple of hours worth of work as well as a lot of trial and error. As you can see from the beginning to end I actually ended up moving the whole build back I think two blocks. So I included what I thought you guys would like to see and now I'm going to go ahead and show you the final product if we make our way down this street here. So I also added some trees in a little pond just to liven up the area just because it's all kind of flat. I think we're going to work on making spawn look a little bit more natural um, in the upcoming episodes. Not just me, but everybody. Um, they've been doing some work over there, which I will show you in a little bit. Um, my render distance is pretty low, so that's why you can't see it now. But this is the finalized bakery. I'm actually really happy with it. Um, it's definitely different than some of my other builds. It's more, I don't know how to describe it. Um, I don't know. I, I really like the style of it though. Um, I wasn't sure how I was going to think about the final outcome because I had the idea in my head, but I definitely think I like it. I think it looks like a bakery. Um, when I was looking up images on Google, like Google images and stuff, um, a lot of the bakeries they had on there were cartoony and that's not what I was wanting for this build. I wanted it very realistic looking, but I still have the little canopy on the front and I actually have the same one on the back as well. Um, but I definitely think it looks like a bakery. And I have just signs out here that say Cakes Bakery opening soon because it is not open yet. Um, we are currently not selling anything yet, but this is the outside so far and the inside is subject to change. Um, I was kind of playing around with the idea because you know when you go into like the normal bakeries and they have um, the little glass or plastic container or whatever it is and you can see all the goodies on the other side and um, that's kind of what I was going with with this. I'm um, not sure if I really like it but this inside is going to get changed. Um, and then actually the other thing I wanted to say which you're probably going to see when we go upstairs because I'm going to go ahead and sleep but, but it was really strange. <laughs> um, I was out building, I think I was halfway done. I was done with the bottom floor um, on the outside, but I wasn't done with the top floor yet. I was getting ready to work on it and I was coming back here just to get a view and a wolf came out of nowhere, coming from that direction, untamed, 
and it just zoomed right on past me and I almost like didn't see it and then it just disappeared and I couldn't find it but when I came down here and it actually fell and it was down here with a bunch of mobs that I had to kill and then I ran and got some bones out of one of the hobo chests and I tamed it and now I guess I have a wolf and I actually have a little clip I don't talk in it but I have a little clip of when it happened you don't see um, the dog actually run up but you see me tame it so I'll go ahead and insert that here as well And yeah, so now we have a wolf. So as I do with all my animals, leave me a comment and let me know what she or he should be named and what the color color should be because I don't want to keep it orange because that's kind of ugly. But um, we also have this upstairs area in the bakery. Not sure what I want to do with it yet. I want to put some glowstone up there. I just haven't had enough and I still have to get some more trap doors. Um, let me know if you have any ideas as far as what can be on the inside. I think I'm going to work on that in between episodes. Um, I do like the idea of having this little counter area. I'm just not sure if I like this exactly the way it is. Um, but you guys usually have some good ideas, so let me know if you have anything you can come up with. But as far as the outside, I definitely really like it. I think it suits. Um, the SMP and I have already gotten compliments on it from the other members so uh, thank you to those who have said it looked nice. Now I actually wanted to mention that I ran into a little bit of a problem because I had planned to do the bakery but it turns out that Linksy and Momo were actually wanting to do a bakery. I don't know how long ago but they were thinking about it. But I was able to talk to both of them and they both have other projects that they want to work on so they went ahead and let me have the idea and I kind of want to do something nice for them so I kind of wanted here's an idea that I just wanted to have in general but I kind of want to do it for them as well um, it's no secret that I work in a bakery myself and something that we do is we have special cake orders or you can also order donuts or whatever for, uh, um, cakes are a most popular thing and people will order them and have like happy birthday written on them or whatever kind they want but I kind of want to do something with that like that but maybe with like it doesn't have to be just cake. I can leave like a chest at somebody's house and have it say like happy birthday in a note or like thank you for doing this or whatever. As well as like whatever type of goodies people want in the chest, whether it be cake, cookies, um, flowers, I don't know. Um, just an idea. I thought it would be kind of cool and another way to make money um, and then charge like, I don't know, like two or three diamonds per chest. I don't know. Um, and then the second thing I wanted to tell, or the third thing I guess I wanted to tell you guys before we finish and get on with this episode, I know I'm probably talking your ear off, but anyways, I got really lucky again, and I don't know what it is, if it's just the luck fairy on the Universal SMP or what, but as I was building this house, or the, not this house, as I was building the bakery, um, I had a little area behind the staircase that I had forgotten to, um, I had a little area behind the staircase that I had forgotten to light up and um, a zombie ended up spawning in it and when I went to kill it, it turns out it wasn't just a zombie, it was a zombie villager. And now the reason I say ver I was very lucky when it came down to it, and I actually, actually moved it down here, um, but the reason I say I was lucky because of it is because it is a cleric. Now, if I am correct, I believe clerics are really kind of rare to get, let alone get from healing a zombie villager. I don't know. But anyway, he has the Rotten Flesh for Emerald Trade, which actually isn't that great. But if I keep going, we have the Eye of Ender, which is 
actually pretty all right because um, we can use those to find the strongholds but this is the one I'm actually really excited about just because I can sell these and we definitely have to get a lot of emeralds I was trading him for rotten flesh because the SMP has a um, zombie spawner and I was getting a lot of rotten flesh from there but it just takes too long so I've been farming sugarcane like crazy and I want to go out and find another village and find a librarian I think it is and do a um, paper for um, emerald trade so we can get a lot of emeralds come back here and then trade for bottles of enchanting and then I'm thinking we could probably oh I forgot I was having him I had all my bottles of enchanting in there that I already got but um I moved them to my ender chest but anyways I'm figuring we can sell them maybe for like 32 for a diamond um, they're a lot of work to get so I'm not sure if I'm asking too little I don't think I'm asking too much because I was also thinking 16 for a diamond, but I think that I think that's a little much, and I want it to be um, relatively cheap. I want to keep like all my stuff relatively cheap, cause it's just because that's the way. I don't know. That's the way I want to have it. So I'm thinking 32 for a diamond, and let me know what you guys think about that price. And then I think I already have like 10 or 12. I'm not going to use them myself just because I get a lot lot of levels already just from doing random stuff and I already have like enchanted tools even though we'll probably enchant them later um, but yeah I have 12 bottles of enchanting already so I want to at least get like 64 I don't know what's going on with these chests they're staying open but um I want to get at least probably like 64 to start selling them and then we can sell them in the universal shop which I'm actually selling torches and horse armor in right now um, but that's I think all the updates I wanted to tell you guys I'm actually going to head back to the base to show you guys some stuff there and then I'm gonna head out and look for a village so we'll farm some sugarcane and then look for a village so we can get some emeralds going and try to get some more bottles of enchanting so I can start selling them whoa I don't know what was going on with that but so I can start selling the bottles of enchanting here and as I said, I have horse armor and torches. Um, so I will see you guys at my base. All right, so I definitely have a lot of sugar cane to farm. I have three rows over there as well as it looping basically all the way around. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and farm all this and turn it into paper and then get some more food because it looks like some of my carrots are ready to be picked. And I also, I don't think I showed you guys this, um, I think I made this in between episodes, but I just made a little like underground garden area. So I have pumpkins and wheat and then down here I have um, cocoa beans and a skeleton that's not supposed to be here. Um, I had to search forever for um, a jungle to find these cocoa beans. Um, I think one of the members was on, well, I think it was uh, Steven who was on, so he can vouch for me. I looked a very long time for that jungle. Um, but anyways, I have a little chest room because it was getting pretty cramped in my other little temporary home with all the chests and then an auto smelter that I needed for the items for the bakery. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and mine or not mine, collect all the sugar cane and then make it into paper and then we're going to go and search for a village.
All right, so I got some paper. I'm not sure how far this will get us. I think the lowest they take is like 24 for an emerald, but this will at least get us started and then I'll at least have the cords. So once I get some even more paper, probably like a whole inventory full, I can go back and get a lot more emeralds. I just wanna like go ahead and find the village now and maybe put like the villager in a certain place. And then if it's not too far out, I could actually always bring him back here or wherever because I do have like five stacks of rails so that could be a thing as well but I'm gonna go ahead and find the village and I'll be back with you guys hold on so about an hour later and right as I was about to lose all hope I finally found a village um, I don't know if this one's looted or not oh and Momo actually got on I think she's afk though because I asked her actually if she had any cords to any villages and she didn't respond so I think she's AFK but that's okay because we finally found one. I was gonna see if there was a um whatchamacallit a blacksmith but I oh yep right here it is um I don't know if it'll be looted or not yes it's already been looted but that as well is okay because we are not here for any of that. I think it's the librarians that we need. Yes! 31 emeralds. Oh! I think it's actually been traded with before. 31 paper for an emerald. So let's see if we can find any better ones. Um, there's another one. What do you have for me, sir? 34. So our other guys, that guy's a little bit better. And also this village is like a thousand blocks out, so I don't think we'll be taking him home if we do find- Oh, we've already found- Oh, what's wrong? I don't know- I don't know if you guys can hear that, but my dog is having a dream. Um, 34 again. So I don't think we will be taking the villager home, but at least we'll have the cords now so I can make like a day trip out of it. And I was thinking maybe I could even put an ender chest out here. Annabelle. She's like having a nightmare or something. Um, but I can at least save the cords and then... Seriously? That better have not been my good 31 page villager. Seriously? Why wouldn't you go inside? I'm so angry. That better have not been my good villager. No, I'm out of food. <gasps> 25! Okay. We need to, um, encase him before something gets him. Where's the zombie? Get out of here! This one's really good. I don't think they usually, um, come this low. Um, I'm like so- I'm like, I don't even know what to do. Okay. I don't think he can get out. Let's put a torch. Why did it just get brighter? Um, let's put a torch down. Sorry if I'm like not talking. I just got like, oh, I was scared for a second. All right. Um, there's a creeper up there. Let's get some of the sandstone. That real good pickaxe. All right, and let's lock him in. Nice and good, so nothing can get him. And now I don't think villagers despawn. Alright, we need to block this up here. Um, and we'll go ahead and just jump on in here with him. And block ourselves in so we can do some trading. Um, I don't think villagers despawn if I'm correct, so hopefully he won't. But I think 25 paper for an emerald is really good and sugar cane's really easy see already we can make um there's two more enchantment bows oh i forgot oh they get locked up i forgot about that well we have eight already so that's two um maybe we'll trade with another one don't you leave mister so we got him in there. 
I'm gonna put some torches on it so I know. So after trading with the villager, I went ahead and I made it back to the base and I AFK'd for a little bit. So all of our sugarcane is now grown up, but I think I'm actually going to go ahead and collect all of this and get some emeralds in between episodes. And then in the next episode, we are going to work on the interior of the bakery and get that all set up to sell as well as getting the enchantment bottles and set that up to sell in the universal shop so we can start making money and then we will get started on our base not next episode but probably in the episodes to come so i think that is going to wrap it up for this episode i hope you guys enjoyed the longer episode i think this one's going to be around 20 minutes let me know if you like the longer episodes or if i should keep them around 15 it's totally up to you guys whatever you want to see but anyway, if you did enjoy, leave a like. It does help me out a lot. It lets me know that you guys are enjoying these episodes or this series rather. And I will see you guys very soon with some all new videos. Alright, see you later.